a walking fish. Is it going to take the next steps on land? In order to answer this question, we have to learn a few things about this amazing, even though not very beautiful fish. This is a bearded ghoul, or sometimes called the devil stinger fish. I filmed this underwater on Negros Island in the Philippines. This fish has evolved to walk, not swim. It uses the first two spines of its pectoral fins to drag itself forward through the sand. This fish belongs to the stonefishes, so it's not just unusual in the sense that it walks, it's also a highly venomous fish. The fin spines of its dorsal fins contain a powerful venom which has in the past killed people. So the fish does not have to swim, it does not have to get away quickly, it can be walking on the sand, it can be content with staying on the ocean floor. Sometimes, as seen here, it would even dig itself into the sand and wait. This fish hunts by surprising smaller animals, mostly fish, which would not recognize that they're close to deadly danger and swim near the mouth of this ugly fish just to be engulfed and to be turned into lunch for the devil stinger fish. Walking in fishes is not actually that rare. Besides the devil stinger fish, other fish species like dragonets or mudskippers have evolved into walking animals, not swimming animals. In the early evolution of vertebrate animals in the Devonian, about 360 million years ago, other fishes evolved into walkers and they became the ancestors of amphibians, then reptilians and then finally of us. So will the devil stinger fish take another step and walk outside of the ocean? Will this fish walk onto land like our ancestors did 360 million years ago? This is not likely, but it's still an amazing example of convergent evolution, of how different lineages of vertebrates have evolved from swimmers to walkers. I hope you have enjoyed this video.